Hello folks and welcome. LMDE6 Linux Mint Debian Edition Cinnamon Desktop. Having some more fun with your file manager, Nemo, otherwise known as Files. I'm going to talk about multi-selection, how to do copy to, move to, and also open them uh, separate folders if you uh, select two items for instance, or even Windows. In either case folks, welcome. The subscription logo is in the corner. I have well over 500 videos. All right, so our user for today is Bob. It's just a made-up name. I have two uh, folders here called NetTest and NetTest2. I have some objects in here, some mixed stuff, and also that. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm making these larger or smaller, I do have other videos, so this is a continuation of the file manager. So basically what I'm going to do is highlight both of these but when you click them they click independently and I'm sure a lot of you folks have figured this out you hold down the control key while selecting and it will select multiple objects. Right click, right click on either one of those folders. Open in two tabs, open up in two windows. I can also do a move to or copy to. If these two options are not available to you Go investigate your edit, your preferences, your context menus, because generally these are turned off by default. So when you right click, you won't see those options. So if those are missing, head on over to edit, to preferences, to context menus, and you activate copy to and move to. Or not. How is that? All right, the first thing I'm going to do is leave these two things highlighted and we're going to open these in two new tabs. All right, so um, our user again is Bob. His home folder is here and still these are highlighted. But I also at the same time open up net test, the first folder in a separate tab. And then net test two is also here. And you can resize them independently as far as the icons are concerned. All right, now, what if I wanted to open these up in separate windows? And what is a window to some of you brand new users? Since we have Linux users of all skill levels, so this is a window. Right click, I have three windows now. I have net test, net test two, and then the primary window is the home folder for Bob. I will close all of them independently and reopen the file manager and then I'm going to select them again what if you want to be conservative maybe you have a ton of these quote folders that you have been creating now keep in mind your standard folders have symbols on them and there is a reason that a lot of these folders do not have uh, spaces in them either because the developers generally put them in there just like that so you can do script files rather easily down the road as your Linux skill levels increase. Yes, usually with uh, script files, when they do have stuff like that, this has a space in it. I would have to make some extra provisions in my script file for that space. But if you keep the name simple, then uh, things down the road to think about will work out better for you. But again, I'm not deterring you from using spaces. I'm just telling you down the road in case you choose to use script files in whatever processes you do with your file manager. So what I'm going to do is right click again. And this time we are going to create a new folder. We're going to move both of those file folders that are highlighted into a new one. And I'm going to, of course, use a simple name. And I'll just use lowercase. I'll call it net. So I'm going to move net test two and net test, sorry, net test and net test two into a new folder called net, just to cut things down a little bit in my file manager here, at least for the visible files. Control H. You also have hidden files in here, which generally are not being displayed. Control H to turn that back off. It's not a mystery, folks. Been showing this for years. Control H. All right, they're both in here. You can make them as large as you want. And keep in mind when I'm doing this, um, you will, when I'm making them tiny, you won't see any names. 
And as I increase them in size, you can see the names now. And then it gets more information like how many items are inside this folder and this one. And as I increase that, it also gives me some date information. How am I doing this instead of dragging that? I'm holding down my control key while scrolling with my computer mouse up and down. And when I get it to the size I want, I let go of the control key. I've been showing this for years, if you've missed those kind of videos. But in either case, when you're multi-selecting, you can do multiple things. Open your folders and tabs. I'll just add another one to the mix by holding down the control key. Now you can see it says three tabs, three windows, and the copy to move to. When we, whenever we are dealing with multiple objects, that's nice. Have you been on my YouTube channel lately? All right, first of all, this is a video made for Linux Mint 22. It's called Simple Desktop Themes. All right, I did that yesterday, but you can also use this for LMDE. But more importantly, colorization of folders can only be done with certain icon sets, not all. But colorization of the backup folder is green instead of blue. Right click. If I remove that, it removes the color. It becomes whatever icon set that you're using versus I'm manually now coloring folders. Hopefully that made sense to you. If it doesn't, you may want to take a peek at that video because, again, your file manager in both the Cinnamon desktops operate the same. In either case, folks, I'm going to close this and close that and say thank you for watching.